Seven of us are exhibiting, so we had to identify and load our boxes onto one van and make them all fit, as well as our walls to hang them on. Our first stop was the Historic Woodcuts Gallery in Tennessee, where we had to unload only specific pieces of art that we wanted to hang there, because we had only two walls to hang them on. And here is our space before we hung up our art. And here it is after. And right here are some sculptures that I brought. You can barely see them against the background. Woodcuts advertised for us, but we went out and shared with the community also well, that we were gonna be in town so they should come and see us. We went to HBCUs, Meharry Medical College and Fisk University. We had a warm welcome from the Fisk University staff. They invited us in to look at their exhibit from the masters like Georgia O'Keeffe. Then we got a private tour to see a mural done by the great artist Aaron Douglas at Fisk University where he was also a professor. We learned some fun facts and some of the meaning behind his methods. Down the street, we met a tattoo artist who has some acclaimed work. And then we were back at the gallery and we sold some pieces that are now in the gallery. Then it was off to New York. We had a special invitation to a birthday party. We were celebrating Miss Alice, who was a dear friend of Shirley Chisholm, who was the first black woman to run for presidency in America. We met Miss Gloria Goodwin, who is the president of the Democratic Party in North Carolina. And we saw one of our favorite performers, lots of food. And this is Miss Gloria again, dancing and having an amazing time. And here is Miss Alice. She's being presented with her cake and everyone is singing Happy birthday to her. The next day we pulled in to unload our artwork. We had to have a crew of guys load it for us. And then we set up our panels. This is my booth. Here is Frank Fraser mingling with his clients and friends. This is my booth after it was all set up. And Frank is notorious for sending his clients to support his mentees. Here is artist Emmanuel Gillespie and artist Lakeem Wilson at their booths. And we had a drawing for a money hat, which was won by our friend at the Watercolors Gallery. Frank not only met clients and friends, but also his family joined him. He had his wife, his daughter, and his great grandkids at his booth. We got to explore the city before and after our exhibition each day. Mostly we enjoyed the food trucks on the street and occasionally a restaurant. This is the Brazilian artist Hernani Silva who was sitting next to me. And here's my booth complete with admirers. And here is our walk at night through the city and then our ferry ride by the Statue of Liberty by day. This is one of our avid supporters and lovers of all things Frank Fraser. And this is our last night in the city before we have to load up the next day. Here is the hotel lobby when all of our things are not there. We had to load back up for our trip home. And here we are until next we meet. <laughs>